Hello again, kindergarten. Remember I told you that that book had um, another story? This one is Amazing Animal Bodies. And so this is going to be a little bit of science. All right. And it says by Margaret Bishop. So that's the author. This scientist studies animals. He finds out how their bodies help them to stay alive. Find out what he learns. Look, there's one of your words, he. H-E, say it with me, H-E, he. Whales live in cold water. They have thick layers of fat to help them keep warm. Look at that pretty big whale, that's huge. Oh, look at that pretty white bunny. Look at that, how cute is he? Look at those whiskers. Snow shoe hairs have brown fur in the summer. Oh, it's a hair. So it's kind of like a bunny, it's in the same family, it's a hair. During the snowy winter, the fur turns white. This makes it hard for their enemies to see them. So he's white. So he blends in with the snow. Look at that. He almost looks like the snow. So it would be hard for other animals that would want to eat them to see him. Chameleons change colors to blend into their surroundings too. They can also change colors if they are angry. Oh, remember the, the chameleon from the previous one? So he, she changed colors so that the chameleon, the other chameleon wouldn't get her to make it look like he was mean. Like she was mean, I'm sorry. So they change colors too. They have that ability. Ant eaters have long snouts. That's a snout right there. So it's like a long nose and mouth together. To help them eat. They use their long snouts to reach into the ground and catch ants. So kind of like a like an elephant's trunk where they use it to drink water and to grab stuff. So they this one, the anteater uses it to eat. All right, next one. Ooh, that's a camel. Camels can also, no, camels can close their nostrils. They do that so that no sand will go up their nose, their noses. Look, there's one of your words, no. Say it with me, N-O. No, N-O, no. No, so look, that's their nostrils right there. So they can close them so that no sand, they don't breathe any sand through their nostrils. Because they live in places where it's really dry, there's a lot of sand. So they are able to do that. And last one. Ooh, what is that? Oh, like a clam. Now it's your turn to study an animal. A clam, a clam has a hard shell. That's the shell. How do you think the shell helps the clam? Hmm, think about it. How do you think that shell will help the clam? All right, kindergarten, take care. See you next time.